White Walkers. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we? Back in Marine. Pit fighters. Ooh, two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. Hmm. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. Pit if fighters, eh? You can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Sounds like Don't some people when there's no coffee. With them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If there anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Mm -hmm. Dog walking past with a hand in its mouth. <laughs> Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. It just has to be more and more blood. I think a lot of people actually mentioned that as the series goes on, there's more and more blood. Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Nope, you really don't. Let's go and have a look at the heads. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. I think that guy's dead, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's climb the stairs. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of Lily White asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> they don't like us coming here uninvited. It will hardly matter who they see first. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not, not this, this one, one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. Oh, one. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, <clears throat> Company. <laughs> Only oh Asher. <laughs> Asher fucking Forrester. <laughs> Is that a pig? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits where things could get really nasty. Hmm. I want to see in the pit what's happening in the pit. Move. Oh. Oops. Ooh, jeez. That was one swift ass kick. That's a Maya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to <laughs> chop it off. <laughs> well, hello there. 
Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, Ooh, could please. they have Say history? What? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough! I didn't come to hear you bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to a beast? <laughs> Tough crowd. My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. Hmm. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. How about the belly? You might wish so. His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Hmm. I've never seen him before. Take a good look at him. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Blood Song, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever. Quick time event coming, guys. Let's see how good I am at it. Well. Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. That's fine by me. Cockless Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's no our men. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Hmm. Only one of you leaves the <clears throat> alive. May the best fighter win. The best what weapon? 
The claws. Whoop. <laughs> Up. Safe. Oh, shit. Look at the cockroach crawling in the dirt. We all know there's only one way to deal with insects. <laughs> Still cut you down. That's no weapon. Ooh. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, buddy boy. At least try to hit me. There we go. <laughs> Son of a whore! <laughs> Last chance, Westeros. Ooh, a cursed sword. Ooh, that was a nasty ass punch. What a fight. We certainly don't. Ah, oh, damn it. The who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. <laughs> I chose you for a reason. Ah. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold. If you glory and gold. Me, we will set sail at dawn, and to those too craven to join me, to hell with you.
No. Uh -oh. I knew them. What are those things? Oh, God. Get over here! Over here! Ooh, more quick time events, guys. More quick time events. Well, she's definitely got a sword through her. Anything could be killed. Nothing. Why won't they die? We need fire. It's the only way. Oh. Fucking hell! Uh, head. <laughs> There. But we need to stick together. Run. No! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. <laughs> she hopes we're right. We hope we're right. See Lannister. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard <coughs> things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Oh yeah, she has a bit of a hard Gilgamesh. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? 
A personal matter. I told you you used another girl to talk your way. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. Huh. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Oh, we don't press Cersei. But now I see more to you. You're a cunning girl. And perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown. For which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I, guess I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me. Assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. Oh. So should we betray Tyrion in favor of Cersei Lannister to save our family? This is a big question, guys. But we're Maybe going back to no, Essos with Asher Forrester. Uh, who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Hmm. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Don't imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here I'm is doing okay, man of you, uh, Gilgamesh. Perhaps the same will be true for me. You are your oh, father's crap. son. <laughs> Not going to be able to watch too much of what the chat is saying, so I do apologize if I miss your messages. Yeah, Cellsorts. That's what we're calling them. Cellsorts. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! 